Chair of Zoning Board of Appeals. And we have a roll call, please. Mr. Crockett? Here. Mr. Dillon? Here. Mr. Loisel? Here. Mr. Massisso? Here. Mr. Maroon? Here. Mr. Richard? Here. Mr. Stark? Here. And we have the December 11th minutes, 2013, to have a motion. So moved. Seconded. Any discussion on the motion? None? All in favor? Unanimous? You just gotta walk this one. Okay, and then uh, next is uh, election of officers. Uh, do I have anybody that's going to volunteer their office at this point in time? Like I, my term is up, so. I'd like to uh, move to table that until the next meeting. Second that. Okay, there's no discussion on tables. All in favor? Unanimous? Okay, we'll table. And we'll go to the appeals. Appeal number uh, 2503, it's a reapproval of miscellaneous Excuse appeals. Excuse me, Mr. Chair. Uh, do we have one more, one more piece of business? Excuse me. I'm sorry, let me do this first. Pledge of Allegiance. allegiance. Oh, thank you. Yes, Pledge of Allegiance. The fight. Okay. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for reminding us. Okay. Uh, we also have the findings and conclusions. Oh, yes. everybody get the copy, excuse me one second. We're going to hold for one second, okay? Um, the findings of fact, do we have a chance to review this, read it? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, what I'd like to do, uh, do you just need a, an up and down on this? Uh, you, in, unless you have any changes or amendments that you'd like to. I've read it. It looks very accurate and very well done. Um, so I'll move to approve as uh, has been uh, drafted by our attorneys and the code enforcement officer. Seconded. Discussion? Saying none. I didn't miss that meeting. Should I? Have you read it? If you read it, that's fine. I did possible. read it. Okay. All in favor? That's unanimous. Thank you very much. I will sign that. Now we'll go to appeal number 20, I only read, 2583. Uh, Reapproval of a miscellaneous appeal by Bailey's Seafood Restaurant, 165, 165 Pine Point Road. This is map R68 parcel 6B to uh, expansion of a non conforming use in an R2 zone. We approved this five months ago? April. It was approved in April. And my understanding is that there's been some slight modification to parking? That's correct. And we worked with uh, the applicant, Mr. Bailey, and the planning board. And uh, as we came back to resubmit for the planning board, we realized that they were resubmitting that our six month um, window was up with the zoning board. <coughs> And the request for the planning change, the parking change, was that from the planning department or was that from you or a combination? It, it was a combination. It was the, the planning board suggested some things. Um, Mr. Bailey had some ideas and we kind of worked through all those and then we got to the point with this plan that our time was up. Okay. And the, and the planning board at this point has approved this plan? It has not. It has not. So it's going, it'll go back to them? Correct. Okay. And I'm sorry, I didn't ask you to state your name. Sorry. <laughs> um, Lee Allen, Northeast Civil Solutions. Um, here representing uh, Stan Bailey uh, on the Bailey Seafood Restaurant. Okay, now last time he was, uh, wasn't was here because he uh, wanted to be here to speak. That's why we tabled it. Is this, is he not, he's okay with not being here? Correct. Okay. Yes. <coughs> All right. Uh, I'll open the board to questions. No other changes except for the work that you've been doing with the planning board on parking? Um, th there's actually some fairly significant changes from when you have seen it the last time. The last time it was combined with the ice cream store that's next door, and we had parking behind that store. Um, we've since revised the amount of seats in the restaurant so that all parking could be accommodated on site, on the restaurant site, so there's no more um, parking behind the ice cream. Um, the other thing is that there was some consternation and some thoughts about what was to happen outside um, in this this area right here, we looked at some parking, um, some landscape features there, and we've scaled that back so it's all going to be a grassed area and um, limited to the two curb cuts, and that sea of pavement will be gone. So, in a nutshell, that's that's the summary of what has happened. Thank today. you. And technical question for the chair: We're approving this appeal based on what we see here, not what we had in the last plan. Correct. Yeah, correct. What we'll be doing is reaffirming this, the previous approval, with changes. Thank you. Okay. And uh, Mr. Longstaff, anything to add to this? Uh, no, I don't. Um, as you, you feel, the board feels comfortable with mm -hmm. everything. Uh, I'll open the public hearing. Do we have any letters on any of this? We do not. No phone calls. Nobody is here, so I'll close the public hearing.
and come back to the board for questions, comments, or a motion. Um, were there any additional parking spaces added, or did you just just reduce the number of seats? We reduced the number of seats. I can't recall the, the numbers because they changed a lot, but we ended up with 37 parking spots on site um, with this configuration, which matches the, the seating that um, is now proposed in the addition. Okay. As I recall, the, <clears throat> the back parking area was an overflow parking area, not the main parking area. Correct. And what we did is we just... <coughs> It was getting confusing com trying to combine the ice cream and this, and we said this is going to be much simpler if we can do it this way. Can it work? And the answer was yes, it can work and with this configuration. Is the two curb cuts, uh, is it one in, one out, or? No, they're both they're full both access. Other board questions? Comments? Motion? Motion. I see this as being pretty straightforward, Mr. Chair. I mean, uh, there hasn't been a significant, doesn't look like a significant change from what uh, the original design showed. You had two levels. You still have two levels, just less seating. Correct. So, uh, you know, the idea was to get some lower seating, additional lower seating for elder yep. population, if I remember it correctly. Yep. So yep, that was correct. And the current accessibility through the front entrance does not meet ADA code, and, and this would indeed meet ADA yep. code. So I foresee that uh, what I see is they were doing exactly what they said they were going to do. They just modified the parking lot, so it's pretty straightforward. If, if, if we were to approve this, would do you foresee any holdup at all in the planning department? No. So, no. so you wouldn't need another extension after this? Correct. We've actually have submitted the plans, got comments back, and it's just a formality of resubmitting after we go through tonight's meeting, hopefully have an approval. So they would not accept us on the agenda without the, the zoning board, current zoning board approval. Mr. Long, Steph, are you going to say something? Yeah, that was exactly what I was going to say. They're, they're waiting for your decision before they can go back to the planning board. And the other thing I was just going to remind the board, the first appeal is the miscellaneous appeal because of a non-conforming use, continuing a non-conforming use, or actually expanding a non-conforming use. That's, that's the first part of the appeal, and then the, uh, and then the practical difficulty is the second part of the appeal. Thanks for the clarification. Other discussions? Motion? I, I thought last time when we approved this, there needed to be a minimum amount of parking spaces because of the reduction in seating. I, I don't, I, I kind of like to just have numbers. I mean, do we know what it went from and to, or do we have no idea? You, you mean from what was there existing? No, what, what we originally approved for you folks as the number of parking spaces, because I know there was a long discussion on it. I just didn't know what that number was. I, yeah, I mean, I think that there was at one point, I know there was 36, we went to 37, we were at 41 at one point, and then we reduced the number of seats to get back down to 37, which is where we ended you know, up. The formula that they use. Yeah. Right. They use in the standard formula, right? Yeah. So it's the standard, and it meets the standard formula. It does. So we're okay. Yeah. Is there a sidewalk out front or anything? Uh, there is a sidewalk across the street. There's not one in, in front of the site. So there's none on the west side of Route 9? That's correct. I'd like to make a motion, Mr. Chair, unless there's other comments. I'd like to approve uh, appeal number 2503, miscellaneous appeal, as, as presented with the changes that are shown. I'll second that. Okay. Any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, this is just a re uh, clarification. There's a reapproval of the, c the current uh, appeal with the modifications with the planning board as on record. And uh, what comments are here? Okay. Basically, you would be removing the condition that you had on the previous approval. Is that what it accomplishes? Yes. Okay, good. All there? That's unanimous. One down. Next one's appeal number 2504. I forgot my glasses, so sorry. Uh, Reapproval of. <laughs> Saturday holiday. Reapproval of the uh, practical difficulty variance uh, appeal uh, by Bailey Seafood Restaurant, uh, 165, Pine, uh, 165 Pine Point Road, to construct an addition 21 feet from the front property line in R2 zone. And if you'd like to just give us an overview on that. Sure. Um, what had happened is the expansion of the restaurant is the currently the, the setback would be the green dash line that goes through the restaurant. Uh, the DOT back in the late 50s, early 60s had a taking. You can see the right of way used to be out in this area. Jog back, I think, 25 feet, 23 feet, something like that, so that it's no longer a conform conforming to the front yard setback. Um, we're proposing to 
add on, but not any closer to the road than the existing structure. Um, and that's mostly just to keep circulation around the building and be able to fit parking behind the building as well as accommodate um, a sub ramp system to make that entrance ADA compliant. Exter exterior changes that were different from the previous approval? I think the only one is the emergency egress out the back with the stairs. Okay. I think otherwise it's the same. Mr. Longstaff, anything on this? Nope, that covers it. Uh, questions for the applicant? I'll open the public hearing. Again, uh, letters are nothing. Close public hearing. No one's here. Come back to the board for a motion, discussion, or uh, you know, I think this one's pretty straightforward. Uh, no major changes from the previous revision. So. Okay. so can I have a motion? I move to approve Appeal 2504. Seconded. Any discussion on the motion? Yes, sir. You mentioned ADA twice last time and this time. Is it yeah. ADA making you uh, make Mr. Bailey's mind up to build this building and put ADA in, or I think there's there was, no ADA now? So. Right. There, there was a couple of incidents over this past summer where there was people in wheelchairs that could not get inside the building, and he saw, he witnessed that and said, this, "We could have fixed this." Very good. Good, good clarification. Okay, all in favor? Janice, thank you very much. Uh, that is the uh, <coughs> agenda. Any Sony Boyd comments? Thank you. When's it going to start that? Uh, uh, hopefully this spring. Mr. Longstaff, anything you want to add for the night? Uh, no, other than we do have to elect a new chairman, so that's your homework. I have, to have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Uh, we are adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you.